Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mage. And uh, this is Persuade. And we'll be bringing you another edition of Creeping Patterns. But this one is a little bit of a twist. It's going to be a short one. Uh, but I think it's something that everybody will be find very interesting. I know that we had Soso do the normal Market Square Creeping Pattern earlier. But uh, Persuade is pretty well known for innovation, just goofing off. And this is actually a strategy that's very, very viable on the bot when you're playing eight people on Market Square. Uh, so without further ado, why don't you go ahead and give us a little bit of background on how you came up with this and what we're going to be seeing. Uh, if I recall, it was... Uh, remember, do you remember a while ago, Duck was... Everyone knew Duck's strategy on Death Throws, which was to just do uh, two fiends and then creep the red immediately. Just yep. uh, try and get that Inferno Stone. Well, I, I figured... I would try it on a few other maps, and eventually I got to this map, and I tried it with all the races. And it's it's pretty easy with Undead if you use Fiends, because they're overpowered. And then uh, I was able to do it with with Orc with Small Regard. But Human, uh, it's actually quite easy, but you have to go MK to do it. And after I did it a few times, testing it, I used it a few in a lot of games, actually. Uh, I have even had people like uh, Devecki rage at me, uh, just from <laughs> doing it on him. I haven't pulled it off on Sexy 2 before. It's, it's pretty fun. And then... Uh, if I recall, Rectify actually uses it a few, every once in a while, and he loves it too. So, it's a it's a pretty fun strat. It's uh the build order is pretty specific, and you have to do it uh, almost exact to, to get the best timing out of it. So this is this is my this is how I do it basically. Uh, first, you want to start off with the barracks first because you know you're going you're going MK, so you want more footmen than you want the hero out. So unlike Archmage, and then uh, you need about three or four militia, and you just have to make sure you get off a good surround. So. As you can see right here, uh, I'm not a human player, so my base structure is pretty bad. But <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, you get the idea of you know I don't miss my timings, everything's fine. So I mean it's pretty basic to get this this far. In. But what I do with uh, if you notice, you can't see my pings, but the first footman is uh is a little bit closer to the camp because I'm going to use that guy to pull, and I'm just going to have everything else just uh, rally to the towards the back one is. So what you do is once the hero pops out, you militia everything over. Don't forget to keep macroing dur during this because you know you don't want to fall behind. Mage, uh, <laughs> and then right when the MK is about to come in there, you just pull with the uh, the the footman just to pop the divine shield. And then once the divine shield, I, I think I missed time this just a tad, but you kind of want to go for this around. You don't want him to run around. Okay. The last thing you want don't want to happen is uh, near the 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 the, the merchant. Yep. And, uh, frost armor, and that can really fuck you up. So you kind of want to make sure you don't. Yeah, if you see it, he just did it on the enforcer. You kind of want to make sure when you surround the bandit lord, it's not too far to the left. So it might okay. take time to practice it. But uh, as you can see, pretty simple. Just make sure you don't lose any things. And uh, while I'm doing it, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually I was macroing while I was surrounded. So if you can see, the arcane vault's almost complete. And uh, so I good thing. Indeed. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just saying, I can see it's going up, and we can see that you got an amulet of wind here. Uh, yeah. I know ideally you would like to get the. Inferno Stone, how valuable are the other items that drop here? And can you give us a little bit of the odds on getting these items? Well, there's six drops, I believe. So there's tw it's, it's what is that, 16% chance to get any of the six. Uh, the two ones you don't want are the, the Scroll of uh, Resurrection and aim the, the Dead One, whatever that's called, I don't remember. Yeah. Animate Dead, yeah. They're terrible, you don't want those. But uh, what I usually do is on an eight-way map, I want to get my expo up first. So I tower the guy, so I'll use whatever I get. And then just tower rush the guy. Uh, Amy of the Wild is probably the is probably the second best after Inferno, uh, especially versus an elf. I mean, I don't know why he would go immolation, but yeah, <laughs> you you basically have a, a free win versus your corner if if you get any of the the four summons. Uh, Doom Guard's good. I mean, he's great versus human with you know rain of fire and all that mumbo jumbo. But uh, I mean, he's the only one that can actually be dispelled by the wisps. So uh, I'm, I think Ursa can be dispelled too, but you know. Most people aren't, you know, aren't going to realize that they're going to focus more on, you know, trying to survive, which yeah. they they can't do because you're going to die. Uh, I kind of cheated and got defend because I made them all elf. But in the real <laughs> game, in the real game, you might want to scout first. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's pretty fun. Uh, it's it's a great way to to get a, you know, yeah. As you can see, I'm being BM because that's what all human players are uh, for picking this disgusting race. But you know, I won't. I digress. Uh, it's a fun strat. You should try it out, especially on bot games where it's most likely to work. Because you know, if there's creeps here, it's it's not really going to work. Yeah. Uh, you can use the creep to do corners. You can use it to do mid. You can use it to do a regular expansion. If you decide to do it on a four-player uh, game, 
Uh, it does work. It's it's still pretty good, but uh, the surprise factor in rushing someone out is just much more satisfying, in my opinion. That certainly makes sense. Uh, so that looks like it's worked fairly well. You've managed to take out the computer player, which I know you could never have done normally, so congratulations yeah, there. And if you notice, it's it's normal, so it's... It's hard, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, not special. easy. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's a normal one. I mean, these are pretty tough opponents. It's... Of course. Uh, so and then let's just follow up on a few things here. So we'll say you've successfully taken out your opponent. You now have uh, six people left that you've got to kill. You went Mountain King first. What's your strategy for hero combinations going forward? Uh, with MK, you, there's only a few you can usually do. Uh, if you realize there are a lot of undeads in the game, uh, well, you know, it works for Orc too. You can always go the fun route and just go... Uh, uh, Pally, Blood Mage. I don't really believe the order matters. Usually Pally second, Blood Mage third, because the levels of uh, of the Blood Mage don't really matter that much, because you want to get the nukes in for Banish, which mm -hmm. is more important on the MK and Pally. Uh, otherwise, what most people do is they'll just do uh, Panda second, Pally third, because uh, there's a Mana Fountain on the map, and it's very good for those three heroes. It's like, they're just meant for fighting, and you'll win a lot of fights if you get high levels on all those, so it's a but from that point on, what I would do is I would just scout, make sure no one's going to come after you. They shouldn't because you'll probably rush out that person and, and everyone else will be still stuck in their little one versus one. So you can probably get the corner, get the mid, expand again, and then just play from there. So. Okay. And is there anything else that requires special consideration when you're going for this? I mean, suppose you got the scroll of Animate Dead or Resurrection. What would you those, do then? Those are pretty bad. If, if I were to get either of those, I mean... A rush might still work if you get resurrection because if you have a lot of footmen and militia, you can just try and suicide a corner and and then just revive everything. I mean, it won't work that well. If, I mean, in most cases, because you know footmen are still pretty bad. Yeah. But, I mean, especially if they have. I mean, if if it's like the person undead, I wouldn't even try. But first other races, you might have a chance. Uh, definitely not versus human because you know, they'll just out militia you with their militia, and then. Uh, I mean, versus, versus Orc and, and uh, an Elf, if you get defended, it might be a good strat. Uh, versus with Anime Dead, I don't even know. I'd probably just... I'd sell that shit and just <laughs> tech or expand. It's so bad. <laughs> okay, so what you're saying is you've got about a 66% chance of getting oh, no, something higher. that can help so, out. There's, there's six drops, so it's... Yeah, I'm not counting 16. Resurrection. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah, six, around 60, yeah 66, 64 to 66 for the... Uh, for the uh, good drops, which is still pretty good. And I believe the other ones are, uh, it's Inferno Doomguard, uh, Ice Revenant, is that what it's called? Death, or some of those. It's level 9 Revenant with Vampiric Aura and Frost Nova, which is very good versus uh, humans, so. All right, well, thank you so much, Persuade. We will have you back to do some more normal creeping patterns with Orc before too long. Uh, and thank you to everybody watching this. We'll catch you later, Persuade. Uh, see you later, thanks. <laughs>